Hi guys, welcome to the channel. This is a video about the Honda CRX VTEC. The purpose for this channel initially is going to be to to be showing basically the restoration of this car from start to finish. So the plan is to restore this car to factory condition or as good to factory condition as possible, depending on the parts I can find. Uh, so I'll take around it very quickly. So starting from the back end, see some rust there. I've got a hole. Hole in the rear mudguard, uh, that's been changed at some points and been sprayed. So we're going to change both arches on the back end. Full respray on the car, I'm going to turn the car into black, black colour. And the plan is to actually strip the car to the bare frame and essentially refurbish the whole car. Suspension, brakes, wheels, interior, the paintwork, the lights. The lights need changing as well, light lifters. So I'll show you around the front end. Not a bad little car, but they, didn't, they do have rust. They always suffer from rust on the arches. That is chopping off completely, as you can see. So we'll start from the front. The front actually lines up, but I've popped the bonnet so I can show it in the video. So we have the original Honda headlights, uh, spotlights, indicators, headlights, that's all fine. Need to change an indicator there. That's about 200 pounds, I believe, just on its own. Bodywork is fine. Windscreen needs changing. The sunroof needs changing, it's a carbon fibre sunroof, but it's a bit bent. Doesn't want to quite go back down again. Needs a new seal, complete respray, obviously. Unfortunately, it has got the original seals. I uh, need to try and find those again. Needs a new windscreen, there's plenty of chips in the windscreen. Needs a mirror. Uh, the mirrors work, but they don't fall properly. The body works quite straight. Uh, it's quite, quite well lined up, to be honest. It's not too bad. But like I said, the arches have to come off. The rubbers have shrunk incredibly, so they need to come off. They need to be replaced. The back bumper's okay. Got a nice uh, exhaust on the back. All the lights work, but they're all cracked, so I need to try and get rid of those. Get them all changed. Change the rubber on that side. Doors again, spraying. Wheels, it's got integral brakes on the front, so I'm going to restore the calipers. Change the discs. Respray the wheels. I've got nice uh, Buddy Club P1 wheels on there, so I'm going to try and respray the wheels. And the plan is to turn the car into black with a dark, kind of goldy colour, if you like, or dark bronze colour. And if we go on the inside, we have Integra, I believe, RC2 seats. Uh, the bolster's gone. I like the seats are comfortable, but I'm, looking, I'm trying to find some originals. So I'm hoping I can find some this weekend from down south. All going well. The back seat's not too bad. We need repolstering. There's a parcel shelf missing. Pretty much the car's intact. Uh, needs a few wires tucking in inside there. The dash is quite in one piece as such. Uh, needs a new sunroof liner, which I've got. Uh, it's got a Momo steering wheel, which I've probably changed. It's all cracked. So I'm going to try and find an original one of those as well. Uh, needs a striker for the for the left hand door, passenger side door. This I've bought already. And other than that, it's not too bad. Needs a lot of bodywork as always, as expected on these, I'm afraid. <clears throat> okay, so here we get to our engine bay. This is where the worst, this is where the majority of the work is going to be, apart from the bodywork. I've just recently changed the rocker cover gasket and the spark plug gaskets because when I pull these when I pull these out there was a ton of ton of oil inside there it was just absolutely caked in oil on all of them. Um, so we've just changed that. They're nice and clean now, they're not leaking, it's perfectly fine. And the engine's running fine. It's got a slight problem on the idle, it's just hunting for idle all the time. I'm not gonna address that issue just yet because I'm pretty sure it's the gasket for the intake manifold. I don't want to take all that off because I'm taking the engine out next week. So look at the engine bay, it's quite, quite dirty to be fair. Everything works as it should, but it's had a, um, an oil leak for quite a long time, so the whole engine's caked in oil on either side. So there's no point in addressing the uh, fuel, in the air intake at the moment because it's going to come out. And the plan with this is to take the engine out, take the engine out completely, rebuild the engine from scratch, potentially, 
because I'm going to turn the car black, I want to spray all the engine bay as well anyway, <clears throat> and do a uh, proper paint job, and then reinstall everything again. I have noticed that the ABS connections aren't connected, and that's why I've got some leads, um, I've got some leads not connected in the boot, because the ABS control is missing, so I need to source an ABS controller, I'm not sure why that, that's been disconnected, um, I know that a lot of people don't like the ABS on these cars, but I'm going to put it back to factory, so I'm going to reinstall those again. And the first port of call will be to plug all those in again to see if the light, the error light, or error, uh, warning light comes on the dash. Because some people just change that. I've got a nice Tagua uh, radiator, but it does need changing because you can't, probably can't see that. <clears throat> it's got a fair bit of damage on the fins on that side, which is actually my fault because I power washed the front of the car and accidentally hit it with a power wash. So that's actually user error let's just say uh, back of the engine looks fine not too bad at all got nice strut brace the plan with the engine is to keep it silver do a red speckled effect on the um, rocker cover and I would really like to paint the strut bar black that's where I think I'm going to go at this point yeah so that's it so 1990 Honda CRX VTEC done 213 miles I believe and there's a wing on there I'm not too bothered about the mileage because I'm going to restore the engine anyway and it runs fine, so I'm not too fussed about that. Total respray. I'm not sure what's underneath the sills. I have been underneath the car and it looks really solid underneath. But I think once I strip the paint off this car, I'll see a bit more rust. I can see there's a bit of rust just around the edges there. <clears throat> and I saw some rust. Can't remember, a little bit of surface rust appear in there. So as always, when you take these back to the frame, you find a lot more work to be done with them and that's about it 1990 honda crx vtec lovely machine absolutely awesome yes if anyone has any uh, rear garnishes i'd be interested to know from you or well and some lights as well and a parcel shelf and probably need a lot of other stuff yeah the rear wiper doesn't work i've seen a lot of people blanking these off i'm going to keep it because i want to keep it as original as possible as best as i can anyway so there she is absolute beautiful car look at that yeah, so start watching the videos and you'll see the refurbishment taking place. It's going to take a while because I'm working, I've got a lot of things to do. So it's going to be a weekend job, I'm afraid. But hopefully, maybe two years time, we'll have this car ready. And we'll see you in the next video.